Hello from Namibia. So today is my full day where I'm going to drive myself through Etosha and go on safari. But I thought instead of just a normal vlog, I would do something a little different today. I'm not sure if you missed a couple days ago when I said that the one thing you should take with you on safari is a telephoto lens. My personal opinion is if you only bring one thing with you when you travel to Africa for game viewing, it should be a telephoto lens. To prove that to you, when I go out today, I'm going to take photos with my iPhone and also with my camera and show you the difference. Now I'll try to do this comparison as fair as possible, so similar levels of zoom. It won't be totally perfect, but we'll try our best. Now one last thing, I'm not saying you need to go out and buy a whole system. You can rent these and it's not that expensive, maybe like $100 for two weeks. I am using a Fuji X-T30 and this is the 100 to 400 millimeter zoom lens. All right, let's go find some animals. <laughs> so I just pulled over. I've got my first glimpse of elephants in the park, but they are way, way out there. So let's take a shot with the iPhone. Even at the highest level of zoom, these photos are really not great. Like you can't see the elephants. I guess you can kind of make them out. Yeah, like if I pinch and zoom, I can see the elephant, but if I just like set this as my background, it's not really like a great photo. Okay, now let's try with the camera. Okay, now that's a shot that I'm much happier with. Just a quick note from the edit. So when I was going through looking at these photos, I zoomed in just to see what was going on. And in the foreground, there's actually a lion. When I went and checked on the iPhone, I zoomed in on there too. Um, and you can still see the lion, but it's just definitely not as clear. So you can tell the fidelity of the Fuji photos is just so much better than the iPhone photos. drove another 10 minutes and a herd of zebra were just crossing the road in front of me. They moved away from the road faster than I could grab my camera and turn the car off and set up a shot, but I do still have a good eye on them. So here, let's take a photo with the iPhone. To get a good shot, I have to zoom approximately to the 5.2 setting. Okay, and then a couple shots with the camera. I headed this way because I was told by someone at camp that there were lions out here. And when I saw all the zebra, I thought, no way, all these zebra are just hanging out by the lions. The lion is gone. Lucky me, the lion is still here, which is great because lions are extremely rare in Etosha. All right, let's take some photos with the iPhone. <laughs> well, that ended up being extraordinary spent the last several minutes just chasing these lions around. There was one point where they were so close to the car, I just, I couldn't help myself. I had to roll the window up because I was just nervous about how close to me they were. Anyways, here's the comparison between the iPhone and the mirrorless photos. So I was about to head out, but I saw the zebra were all still looking pretty on edge. So I just pulled off one more time. There's actually three more lions, which makes sense because lions travel in prides. It seems like the three other ladies in the group are out here on this side doing the hunting. I came to this water hole and it's just zebra and antelope, but there are so many of them, unbelievable. I th think this actually might be one of the shots that the iPhone wins because I think having a wide angle might be a little better, but let's take a look. Okay, 
found my first ostriches. <laughs> Just driving down the road, suddenly you see these things and you're like, huh, is that animal or trees? Look a little closer, ostriches. So continuing with the theme, the photos taken from the iPhone, they're fine, they're passable, but the photos taken with the Fuji just look so amazing. That bokeh effect just adds so much depth to the photo. And I am shooting in manual mode, but you can get this effect if you're shooting in automatic too. It's really like the lens is doing so much of the work here. Another stop and another absolutely amazing scene. Here we've got, of course, more zebra, more antelope, but I finally found some wildebeest, as well as, I can't remember the name, what they're actually called, but the bird, Fiki from the Lion, from Lion King. I'll look it up and put the name on the screen. Once again, I'm gonna try to get a shot with the iPhone, but the birds are really far away, so I'm not sure how good they'll be. And then a shot with the Fuji. So these photos I got here will not be an exact one for one of each other. There's just so much motion in this scene, so much is going on. But surprisingly, I'm very happy with the iPhone shots here. I think just like the huge expanse of the scene makes it well situated for a wider angle lens. Wow, this, <laughs> this is just like literally out of a movie. Just popped into the Halali camp for a quick bathroom break and a snack. I'm going to turn around at this point and head back, hopefully going in a different direction so that I can try and see more of the park, but we'll see. It's 1.15 right now. I want to get back to camp between four and five. It's an hour and a half straight shot. So it seems like I should have some time to do some exploration. Okay, so before I just headed back, I was so close, I decided I was gonna go head out and check, and check out the viewpoint for the Atosha Pan, which is this giant ancient lake bed that Atosha is named after. I have literally never seen anything like this before. I would say the closest thing would be like bad water, but it's just it's very, very eerie. I definitely am not gonna stay that long. There's nothing to do, but it's cool. Glad I checked it out. Finally found a couple giraffes this afternoon. I'm back at that spot that just had like a jillion animals. <laughs> I guess a couple giraffes showed up for their afternoon drink. As always, let's take a photo with the iPhone. And now let's get one with the Fuji. Giraffes are just such derpy animals. <laughs> I mean, I love them, but oh my gosh, just watching them, so funny. Done driving for the day. Hopefully after all of this, I've convinced you that you want one of these when you go on safari. But <laughs> in case you're not convinced, there is one more little test that we're gonna do tonight. Absolutely unbelievable, perfect sunset. <laughs> I got a couple shots before the sun went down and then a couple after the sun went down. And if this does not convince you, I think there is no reasoning with you. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.